Well hello and welcome to my latest video. If you followed my last couple of videos you know that I've just spent six days bikepacking in France and before I went I did a video about my bikepacking setup in terms of what were the bags that I had on the bike and what was I carrying in the bags. So what I thought I'd do now is a review of one of the bags that I used and it's this bag here which is the tail fin aero pack and it goes on the rear rack of the bicycle which I'll show you in a minute and although I've had this bag for uh, quite a few months now this is actually the first time uh, that I've used it in anger uh, so it's the first time that I'm really in a position to give you what it's uh, to give you my opinion of what it's like to actually use on a bike packing trip so let's start off with showing you how it fits onto the bike right this is the tail fin rack itself and this is the carbon version uh, my mate Mike had the alloy version and one advantage of the alloy version is that there are uh, bolt fittings here that you can attach a cage to and the same on the other side which you can't do on the carbon version which I didn't realize when I bought it uh, if I'd realized I probably would have bought the alloy version so that you could get that extra versatility now there are a couple of ways uh, in which you can attach the rack to the bike uh, firstly uh, via the seat post and this is the standard fitting for any bike and that is using this clamp here which goes around the seat tube uh, it works uh, or a seat post rather uh, it works perfectly holds it very securely doesn't move it's very tight and even though this is a kind of plastic fitting here very strong and it feels secure and then you attach it down here as you can see I've attached it to the mudguard eyelets using the bolt through the base of the rack here uh, Mike uh, used a slightly different version which I could also have used and that is where you get a replacement through axle which then allows you to attach uh, quick release clamps to the base of the rack here which are then attached to the axle so you can just undo those and remove them makes it very easy to attach and fix the rack. Now one thing to say uh, about the attachment of the rack is it is very securely attached okay it does not move uh, and certainly the carbon version is very light indeed the alloy version is pretty light but not quite as light as the carbon version but and this is quite a big but uh, in my opinion uh, with the quick release attachments on the through axle uh, the rack and uh, by extension the bag when it's attached to it is held on by those two quick release clamps at the uh, bottom of the rack and by this seat clamp and it would take about five seconds I would suggest uh, to remove that rack with the bag on it so if you leave your bike with the tail fin rack outside a cafe or a restaurant you may lock your bike up but do be aware uh, anybody who's familiar uh, with the uh, tail fin rack system will be able to remove it and steal it in the space of about three to four seconds now let's have a look at the bag itself in slightly more detail uh, it's made of this kind of black black plasticky type material I'm sorry I don't actually know what it's made of and as you can see down here there is a zip uh, which allows you to get into stuff that's at the base of the bag I, I never use that and to be honest I'm not quite sure when you would use it but I suppose it's it's helpful to have it there there are these kind of uh, reflective strips on the back and a couple of reflective strips there and then there is a um, a strap here, a strap here, a strap here, and a strap here. So that is the bag itself, and it holds, I believe, 20 litres when it's full. Now, the way it works, and let me just undo the straps. I'll put the camera down, undo the straps, and then you'll be able to see. Actually, I'm doing it one-handed. So I've released those straps. I'm releasing that strap. And I'll release this strap 
as well. And you can then see that the bag is a roll top bag, like, like so. And now you're looking down into the bag. Now the reason it's a roll top, I assume, is because as you roll this over, it becomes waterproof. And it allows you to roll this over and over and push the contents right down into the bag like I'm doing there and then attach the straps and cinch it tight. Now what that means is if the bag is kind of completely full then there's not really much rolling that you can do. So you're going to lose this top few inches of space and if you want to cinch it right down of course you're going to lose more space. That's one slight disadvantage of the bag. But I'll show you the other disadvantage of the bag when I put it on the bike. Okay I'll try and do this one-handed so that you can see. But this uh, clip that you can see just down at the bottom here, this kind of sticking out triangular piece, that goes underneath this part of the rack. So let me just push that forward, hopefully without making the bike fall over. Um, just a minute, I'm just going to have to put the camera down to do this, otherwise it's all going to come falling down on us. Alright, so you can see that the this clip here is now underneath the rack itself, which is here. So that's holding that bit on. The rear rack is then held on by these two, this one on this side, another one on the other side. And they slot in to these little holes, which are underneath. All right, and that is not entirely straightforward well it's straightforward to do but it doesn't necessarily go in that easily I suppose one of the reasons for that is if it goes in easily it would come out very easily uh, but it can come out very easily and let's put it on and then I'll tell you about those disadvantages right so I've attached it on so these bits here you can see they're quite small they pull out see they're on a kind of spring and then they push in to these little holes that are on the rack. And then you push it in like that. And there it is. The bag is held on securely. So although there's only three clamping points, this one here at the front that you saw, these two here at the back that you saw, this bag is held on very tightly, very securely. It does not move when you're riding the bike. It does not sway, it doesn't bounce, uh, and in fact you don't really notice it's there. Certainly on the flat you don't notice. Uh, if you're going up a hill you'll notice a bit of the weight on the back, but apart from that you'll not notice it's there. So it's very secure, uh, it's very well designed, and it's a very clever bag. But, 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 you may sense a but, and the reason you may sense a but is there's a but coming. There are a few buts. The first one is, as you can see, the front part has to push under your saddle. That means that you've got a kind of slope here. Now my saddle is a, a I mean I'm six foot tall, so I've got a saddle at a, a kind of normal height for a six foot tall person. If your saddle is lower and therefore your seat post is, uh, uh, your seat post is shorter, then you're going to find you can put less in the bag because you have to be able to angle it under the seat. So that's one disadvantage. The second disadvantage, I feel, is that it is not held on at the front at all. Although this bit clips under the um, rack itself, there's no fitting that holds it on. So the only thing that's actually holding the bag onto the rack is these two clips here at the back. And it's quite easy to think that those clips are attached when in fact they're not. 
And me, when we uh, got off the boat at uh, Dieppe, uh, attached the bag, went up the map, and the bag, bag fell off the back. I thought it had broken. I thought, oh, Christ, that's my trip going. Um, anyway, stopped, put it on properly. That was okay. But then when we left the hotel on the last day, uh, Mike had put his bag on, cycled off, boom, it fell off the back. So it is quite easy, I think, to think that the bag is uh, firmly attached when, in fact, it isn't. The other disadvantage, I feel, of this system is if you know how the tail fin rack works and how the bag is attached to the rack and now that I've explained it to you it would take about three seconds for somebody to steal the bag because all they've got to do is pull out this clip on either side and take the bag off because there is no attachment at the front. What I'm likely to do I think the next time uh, is just get a, a velcro strap and just attach it to the the seat post there but I do think that's a bit of a design fault if I'm honest because it is so easy to steal and if you saw in the earlier part of the video about how uh, certainly the rack is attached on Mike's bike in terms of the quick release bits down the bottom uh, attached to that through axle you can actually steal the whole rack and the bag uh, in the space of about four seconds which I think is a bit of a disadvantage. Now having pointed out those those cons of the bag uh, in terms of the pros of the bag, as I say, it's very secure, it does not move, it does not sway, it holds a decent amount of stuff with the caveats that I mentioned. I think it's about 20 litres, but probably slightly less um, if you are, uh, have got a shorter uh, seat post or if you are um, uh, uh, struggling to, to cinch down uh, the top of it uh, like that. Um, I ended up, I, I got a couple of, I think they call voile straps, and just put my shoes on top attached with the voile strap. So it, it didn't look quite as quite as neat and, and quite as cool cycling through France as it could have done, uh, but they were in a dry bag and they were pretty safe on there. So uh, what did I carry in the bag? I carried a um, spare pair of bib shorts, a um, pair of trousers, a t-shirt, shirt, a couple of base layers, socks, underwear, uh, a jacket, uh, toiletries, stuff like that. So, you know, depending on how light uh, of a bag packer you are or how heavy of a bag packer you are, you'll find that there's plenty of space uh, in the bag. But if you want to carry a whole load of stuff, then you're going to need some additional uh, carrying capacity. Mike, in fact, had a uh, an Apidura uh, handlebar bag, which obviously went between his handlebars and was able to put uh, bits of clothing in there. Uh, I had a handlebar bag, which you can see in the video that I made, which is by Topi, which was a very useful bag, but I had sort of camera equipment and uh, uh, microphones and power banks and stuff like that, so it was full up with other sorts of crap. Uh, and although there was room to put my gilet in when I took that off and the weather warmed up, uh, there wasn't room to put uh, additional clothes in there, so that's certainly worth, worth remembering. Um, the other thing I suppose one ought to point out about the uh, Telfin Max system and the bag is that it is not cheap uh, and the carbon version uh, is even, uh, even less not cheap or even more not cheap. Either way, it is not cheap. Is it worth it? Well, it's difficult to say, isn't it? I mean, good quality stuff is, is never going to be cheap. Um, and in terms of the... Uh, the, the the way that the rack and the bag stay solid when you're cycling, that I guess is, is worth a few bob in anybody's money. Uh, the way that it's so easy to steal, I think is a slight disadvantage. The way that the uh, seat post is going to restrict the amount of stuff that you can carry. And if you are a shorter person and therefore have a shorter seat post, I would advise you very strongly to uh, test this out on your bike. Um, before you actually purchase it, just to make sure uh, that it gives you the right space that you need and fulfills uh, all the things that you want it to do. So that's the Tailfin Rack and the Aero Pack. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it. Uh, if you want to go bike packing, it's a very good system, and I say on the whole, it's worth the money. So if you like my videos, please like my videos, please subscribe. Please click the notification bell and please remember that my channel raises money for www.vec.org.uk uh, which is the charitable group uh, raising money for humanitarian relief in Ukraine. 
So thanks for watching. Hope you'll catch up on my other videos and please do watch my two videos about the Avenue Vert cycle route that I did in France with my mate Mike. So thanks for watching and see you next time.